A first edition of The Complete Angler by Isaac Walton. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington and I'd like to show you this copy of what is a remarkable book, a celebrated book and perhaps the most important work of angling literature ever published, certainly in English. If we look at the title page here we see the, the title given as in engraved text The Complete Angler or The Contemplative Man's Recreation and then further down below the engraving being a discourse of fish and fishing, not unworthy the perusal of most anglers. And there is the imprint. It's uh, printed in 1653 in London. Just down at the bottom of the page here, we can just see the, the date and the uh, printer and publisher, Richard Marriott. So this book um, is an uh, extremely famous book. It was expanded in future editions. The fifth edition is the largest of the early editions. But this first publication is a, a small book, a, a, a pocket book, really. You could certainly put it, imagine putting it in your pocket and taking it fishing with you. And um, it is filled with little details, little songs, little poems about fish. And there are also one or two little charming engravings of fish of various types, English native fish. And there is also a song to be sung, which is the Angler's Song. And the way they printed it on the page here, with on the left hand side the, uh, the treble. Uh, and on the or uh, tenor, if you will, and on the right, the bass. And the idea being was that you could put the book down on the table and one sing from one side of the book and the other read the bass part from the, from the facing side. So some uh, copies of the first edition don't have this, but it's a rather charming um, feature of the book. And uh, that's really what the book is about. It's about celebrating the joys of fishing in, a, in every way. Uh, there are recipes, there are, as I say, there are poems, there are various observations, and it's written as a dialogue. Um, later editions add a, a third f fisherman to the mix and some other material, but this is the first edition of it and the first text, and a, a famous book and a rare book, um, and it has been said to confer distinction on the owner um, in any library. Now, this copy is in a 19th century binding, that's a half calf um, and it has been trimmed for binding. I think you would have seen as I went through there are a couple of leaves a little closely trimmed at the head there. You see how close the top edge comes to the text but uh, no loss there. So uh, a nice copy and I, uh, there's an inscription here um, on the end paper which is uh, dated 1882. There, uh, The gift from uh, Robert Merrick from his mother, Mary, um, October the 28th, 1882, and I suppose that that would be the date of the binding, near enough anyway. Um, so a charming copy of a famous book. For more details on this and any other books, please do look at our website.